I'm delighted to be joined by Bohemia's captain and fullback Derek Pender. Derek, how excited are you about this Friday, just on a personal level? Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, semi final cup, home to your biggest rivals, you know, it's, uh, it's a great game to be involved in and we're all very excited. What did the players make of all the publicity on Saturday, I suppose, with the queues of people, they were there for about half eight in the morning, queuing yeah. up a day in a park for the tickets. What did you make of that yourselves? Yeah, it's great. Like, it just it shows the support that we have behind us, you know. Um, seeing the pictures, it's unbelievable, like, the, the, the queues and how long they were doing us, uh, queuing for. So, you know, it's important for us now to, you know, use that as a bit of motivation, I suppose, on Friday to give, give a little bit back to them. Um, just from a playing perspective, I know you missed a few games this season with suspensions, yeah. a couple of knocks, whatever. Um, and you've got the young man Andy Lyons breathing down your neck as well. Yeah, yeah. Although we've seen the last couple of matches, you've been switched over to left mm. back as well. Do you, do you? How do you find playing at left back? Are you, you're, you're fine there, are you? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Look, at especially with the way Andy's playing at the minute, I'm just happy to be playing. You know, it's uh, Andy's going to be a great young. He is a great young player at the minute. You know, he's going to be a great, great player in the future as well. So, yeah, I've no problem. Uh, competition place is always good, no matter what you what what you are at balls. You know, and keep those that like captain and all captain. You know, if you're not playing. That's the way it goes. And just to note, Daryl he had a knock with the under 21s. I don't know how much information you can give us, but is there going to be three full backs vying for those two places on Friday night, or is it going to be you and Andy again? Do you think? How, how's Daryl looking? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, possibly, or hopefully, it's three of us, you know, fit because you know, we want everybody fit for this game. So um, I don't know yet. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see on Thursday if, if he trains. Anything. Just on Andy, like he got his first goal, obviously, as well in the Cup game against mm -hmm. Crumlin. Um, what makes him such a good player? Why do you, why do you think he's what what qualities does he have? I think he's a very grounded lad. You know what I mean. Um, you know he's getting a little bit obviously publicity this year with how well he's playing and being in the under nineteen squad when he went away he had a great tournament. Uh, but he's just come back. He just goes about his business. You know he's he's very focused and he's very determined on to being a, to want to be a good footballer. Do you think is he going to be one of these players that he's just a really top quality League of Ireland player for his career? Or is it a possibility, do you think, that is he still at a good age where he could maybe make a success in a, in a league in England or perhaps on the continent somewhere? Yeah, being honest, I, t I, I can see him going to England. And, um, you know, I don't know when, but I think it will be sooner rather than later, to be honest. Just before I focus on the match, I, I want to get this one out of the way, Derek, because there was a lot of focus. and um, Some people may be unhappy about the situation last Friday against Derry City and Evan Ferguson coming on, playing his first match as a senior, 14 years of age. Um, you know, I'm sure it's something Keith Long and Trevor Crawley didn't take lightly, and I'm sure they would have consulted with his dad Barry, who we know is a former League of Ireland player himself. Um, what did you make of all the, the, the talk around it? People thought it was maybe not the right environment for a 14 year old to be playing. Yeah, I, I didn't. You know, I, I never second get. I never second thought all the publicity that would get. To be honest with you, because Ev's been in training with us the last few weeks. You know, obviously come on against Chelsea where. He was getting marked by Kurt Zoom, he was seven foot, you know what I mean? Um, but he's been training with us the last few weeks and the size of him, I don't, like the people probably that are giving out about it probably don't know it's the size of him, Evans and man, yeah. you know what I mean? For a 14 year old, there was never any chance of him getting hurt. You know, obviously, look at football, people are going to get hurt, but he's been with us, he's been bullying Rob Cornwaller in training, you know what I mean? Rob's like a monster for us at centre <laughs> half, so yeah, I, I don't know, like obviously it's, it's, I, I couldn't believe it to be honest with you, and that's mm. just my opinion. I just, I, I was shocked that the, I thought it was great that he came on and played. Evan thought it was great. I'm sure Barry thought it was great. His family did. So, look at people's opinion. Were you disappointed you couldn't get the three points at Derry City? Like you know, for for Bowes now, every point counts. Four four games left to play this season. Was it? Did you have to get that win? You think, especially the fact Derry had the game in hand. Possibly, look, I think it was important that we didn't lose. That was the big thing, you know what I mean? And we kept a clean sheet and we done well up there. Like, we did play well, especially with the squad the way it is at the minute. We're missing, we're missing Bucco, you know, Levo, Dara, obviously Danny Mandrew we're missing up there as well. So, a lot of young lads played. Ross Tierney played again, you know, Dawson come on. But uh, it was important that we didn't lose and we kept a good, good uh, clean sheet and we played well, you know. Yeah. So, look, I suppose all the focus on the Cup now this weekend, Shamrock Rovers ended that hoodoo that you had over them for a long long time two years and um, that said they haven't won at Dalyman Park uh, since 2017 how important is home advantage in this game do you think yeah it's it's, it's obviously it's obviously it's, a, it's a, an advantage to us to be playing in Daly Mount you know especially where we have the majority of fans there and uh, you know Daly Mount is a special place when it's packed you know they're close to the close to the players close to the pitch and the atmosphere is always great do you take a lot of I suppose um, you know the last game, obviously, you lost, but you went out in the first half. 
the team probably didn't play as well as they could have. Came out in the second half then, and possibly you could say dominated the game in the second half. So do the rest, of the, do all the players take heart out of that performance in the second half against Shamrock Rovers at Tala? Yeah, actually, yeah, we could. We can do. We can take that. We have to take the positives out of the game, even though we lost. You know, um, but look, we're not under no illusions. You know, home advantage or not, Shamrock Rovers are the top team. We've got top players there, so you know we'll have to be at our very, very best to get get the right result. How hard is it coming up against a team like that when they've got so many? You know, it's almost like there's obviously there is a pattern to their play. I know a lot of the play went down the left in that mm. in that game with Talat through Sean Cameron. It was yeah. excellent, but they have a lot of midfielders, like you know, really good ball playing midfielders. Four or five lads in there: Gary O'Neill, Jack Bourne. You know, uh, Ronan Finn could be in there as well. How hard is it to come up against a team like that, knowing who who you mark, where they're going to be in the game? Yeah, it's difficult at times. You know, as you say, like you've mentioned, some individuals there, and that shows you like the tight squad they have, and like you know, they're a very very good side. Obviously, they've went on a, a very good run in the second part of the season. Obviously, you know, Dundalk have won the league, but they've pushed them most of the way. You know, so uh, yeah, it's, look at. It. It's a game of football as well at the end of the day and you know uh, we just go into the game not thinking about them individuals we we'll think about our own game and hopefully we'll get the right result and i mentioned sean cameron there if you are playing a right back yeah. that's an avenue you need to stop because his mm. crosses into the box are really really dangerous point of attack for shamrock rovers yeah definitely okay uh sean sean cameron is an unbelievable left foot and we've not we've seen it up in talent when he put the ball in for a ground book to score so yeah so that we have to look at well he means having won a game in a, in a while now, there's been six or seven matches, I think, have passed now without a victory. Is that a little bit of a concern going into such a big game like this? Yeah, well, yeah, it might be, you know, it, you know, if you think about it like that, but, um, you know, it's such a massive game and it's a different type of game. Like we say, these games are always a little bit different to the normal games, you know, with the atmosphere and the attention around it. So we won't think about that. We're just going to Friday and hopefully we'll need to uh, be at our maximum to get the right results. Really. And you've got two avenues into Europe now, you know, because... If you win the cup, you're in there. If you don't win the cup, possibility third place, fourth place might even do. Yeah. It's it's a huge, um, I suppose. Just a, you know, it's a, it's a huge thing going into these last few games of the season. Yeah, it is. It's look, it's a great time of the season, and it's a great it's great to be involved in these these occasions. You know what I mean? Like a semi final the cup and involved for a fight for Europe. You know, not many people thought at the start of the season we'd be up there, and at this stage of the season, so uh, it's a great it's, it's a great time, and look, we're looking forward to it. And just yourself, Derek, um, have you got another season in your for Bohemians? I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> You're still looking fit. Oh, yeah. You're still, like, I, I was watching it in a couple of should, games, and, yeah. it's, and it's a bit like Joey O'Brien at Shamrock Rovers. Mm. Some player or some people would think, oh, just because he's, he's a bit older than the rest of the lads, mm. you know, he might have the pace game. But like yourself and Joey O'Brien are two of the best readers of the game in the league, and that's such a, it's a big advantage to have. So Yeah, no, look, I don't know. Look, I love, I love playing. I love playing in daily month every week and leading the lads out obviously but uh, yeah, you don't see me on Saturday mornings. <laughs>